The chair calls Elizabeth Miller, and she's here um, on behalf of herself, and she is for the bill. Good morning. I want to thank the committee for the uh, work. Ms. Miller, um, um, Elizabeth Miller is up, and she is... Um, here on behalf of herself and she's for the bill is that correct that's correct thank you ma'am i'm sorry i thought you already said that. no that's okay so thank you for your time thank you for your work in the past um i just want to take the time to explain um why i am one of the many people who doesn't fit into current teacup i have a rare disease called hypermobile ehlers-danlos only it's the world's probably the world's most common rare disease it's not rare but a lot of people haven't heard it and studied it. And so I use cannabis for a variety of reasons. Pain is the main feature of hypermobile EDS. I mean, there are plenty of other problems, but that's the one screaming in your ear at all times. Fatigue, I use it for GI issues. Um, we have a collagen defect, so it affects you head to toe. Neurological issues, I could go on and on, I won't. Sleep seizures, all kinds of reasons. So I'm excluded because of that. Um, I need it for pain. I can't use flour. I can't smoke because I have something secondary to EDS called mast cell activation. Um, I can't use flour because of the mold. That will aggravate that, the smoking will. Um, I can't metabolize edibles. I have a defect in, in enzymes, so I do not get the benefit from edibles. So I'm one of the people that must inhale a vapor in order to get the benefit. Um, I can't digest all that oil, as Representative Click points out, so I can't, even if I could metabolize the edibles and get a benefit, I can't eat them all. So uh, I, could, I can't afford to take a whole, whole bunch of medicine within teacup in order to get the, t the amount of THC. Even if I had the money for that, I can't take all that oil in. So I'm not complaining. I appreciate the work you guys have done in the past, but there's a lot of us left out. And um, the program, in order to get a lot of us in, would need to not do conditions piecemeal. Um, I would need to, uh, we would need to not, you know, I would have to get off my medicine to let my seizures come back to prove I have them. Or, like, I'm spastic today in my gut, as you can hear, but I can't take um, muscle relaxants because they're contraindicated in my condition, so it's very difficult for me to prove I have spasticity. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of traps for us, and I would love if you guys are interested. I happen to know, I think I've checked off each of your districts as having somebody with this condition. If I haven't, I will find somebody so that you will meet with me so I can talk to you about it if you're interested. And um, I guess that's it. Thank you, unless anybody has any questions. Thank you, Ms. Miller. Does anyone have any questions? Thank you for your testimony. Oh, I'm sorry, Ms. Uh, Representative Jones. A couple of questions, uh, Ms. Miller. Thank you for yes. just, I'm over here. No, oh, see, I don't know everybody it's okay. in this committee. Yet. You'll get used to my very deep voice in a second. But two questions. Can you tell me the medical condition you have again? And can you say it slow so I can try to spell it? Absolutely. We'll take the advantage of expanding awareness to the Ehlers-Danlos syndromes. There are about 14 of them. I have the most common one, which is 90% of the people with the EDS syndromes are have the type I have, which is called hypermobile EDS. The other types, they've identified the genes. It's a little, it's much more rare. Some are like one in 20,000, some are one in a million, some are only like a couple people on the planet. The one I have, we're everywhere. It's, they think, they thought it was one in 5,000. Now they're thinking maybe one in 2,500. And there's a study in Wales where it's maybe one in 500. And there are zero doctors in Tarrant County with expertise. Please digest that. May, may, I, may I, re, I just want to repeat the word. Eller Stanlos. Eller Stanlos. Let me Stan spell Lose. it for everybody. Sorry. Stanlos. E-H-L-E-R-S. D-A-N-L-O-S, and the Europeans say it correctly. I say it the text. Thank you. I massacred that word, but thank you for fixing that for me. And then the last part, you said you, you because of issues you have, that you have to 
just smoke it or whatever. Inhale it. Inhale. My dude, am I sorry? I'm, I'm okay. sorry. Inhale it. So you heard the gentleman before. The distinction is, um, as my representative points out, by the way. So I'm, I'm I, so would you be able to use whatever machines uh, yes. technology that the previous testifier said? Battery operated can warm it up, a concentrate so that it turns it into a vapor. Um, so if that, so so if it passed with, and there's no, there are those products, then you'd be fine. As long as it, I can get enough THC that I can afford the product. Like if it's so small that I have to overcome the cap, I just because you can overcome the cap if you have money. If the cap discriminates against poor people, frankly, if I'm. Honest. May, may, may I ask why? Because the THC cap, if you want to overcome it, just get more medicine. Whereas, as Representative Click is pointing out, if it speaks in terms of medicine, like milligrams and things, it's just how much THC is in the medicine. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Any more questions? I do. Yep. Uh, Representative Thank Tenderhope? Yep. Thank you for coming by. I know you've been by our office. Um, so, no, no, that's a good thing. Okay, good. This is your cap this is your capital. I'm glad you're here. Um, so I want to understand. So, in your instance, you could do the vape or the the different pieces of equipment that the gentleman was talking about a few moments ago. Could you actually smoke normal smoking? Because I heard you say you couldn't. So, I hate to say I can't now because I'm doing so well that my mast cell activation <laughs> symptoms are much improved. But smoking could cause an anaphylactic response. Um, at one point, it would because of the mold and the smoke together. And, and most cannabis doesn't have a ton of mold on it where nor normal people would notice. But a little bit could aggravate my mast cell activation syndrome. To be completely frank with you, my symptoms are much better now where if I just took a hit or two, it probably wouldn't be the end of the world. But no, I need to inhalate, avoid the... the smoke and avoid the other stuff on the flower that can be there sometimes when it's not cared for, particularly in the black market with medicine. That's probably not as much of a problem. You know, I'd be interested. I, I, should have asked, I should ask the gentleman before if you get more cannabis or if you know, if you get more medica medic medication type from it, if you smoke it normally versus through a machine, you, you may not know the answer to that. Um, in my opinion, and inhalation through a machine is even better because then you can titrate the temperature. So depending on what symptoms you're going for or what's in that strain, you can sort of control that a little easier, in my opinion. Thank you for coming today. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate your questions. Ms. Miller, thank you for your testimony. Thank you. You're welcome. Next witness will be calling up Cindy Castilla and then Dr.